What's up, Ravens fans? It's time to answer your questions in this week's Ravens Mailbag. Free agency opens later today, so there are lots of questions about that. Like, are the Ravens going to keep Eugene Monroe next year? And also, why do they not franchise Kelechi Assembly and instead use that on Justin Tucker? All of that and more on today's Mailbag. Our first question comes from Tavon Brown, and he asks, will the Ravens get rid of Eugene Monroe? No, I, I don't think they will do that now. Ozzie Newsom made it clear that Kelechi Assembly was the left tackle that he wanted next season. Well, that ain't going to happen anymore because Kelechi Assembly is cashing in on the free agent market. So that leaves the Ravens really with Eugene Monroe as their guy. I mean, the only other option currently on the roster would be James Hurst, and I don't think the Ravens want James right now to be their starter. Eugene Monroe has proven to be a good left tackle when he's healthy. That's the big if. He needs to stay on the field, and I think, you know, if the Ravens can motivate him to do so, they've done it. Isley Newsom, I think, putting him a little bit uh, on alert with his comments earlier this year that they wanted KO to be that guy. Uh, so now, no, I don't think it makes sense to, to completely start over at left tackle. The next question along the same lines of the offensive line from DT Gordo. What was the reasoning behind franchising Justin Tucker and not Kelechi Assembly? Well, really, this is just a simple dollars and cents situation. The franchise tag for Justin Tucker is $4.5 million. That's an affordable option right. for a one-year deal. It was way above that for an offensive lineman, and the Ravens didn't have the money to make that happen. And also, the Ravens have a, a possibility of working out a long-term deal with Justin Tucker. They are confident that at some point they will be able to do that. With Coletio Assembly, when you look at the numbers that he's getting from the Oakland Raiders, that $60 million deal, that kind of money was not just on the table for the Ravens to right. pay. That's a lot to swallow. That's a big <laughs> pill to swallow. So they can work something out with Justin Tucker, use the franchise tag as a Band-Aid, and then still get a long-term deal done down the road. Right, I agree with that. The next question comes from Kyle G. May 35. And he asks, do you really think the Ravens will take an offensive tackle with the number six pick? Well, Ronnie Stanley of Notre Dame is the guy that's most often projected to the Ravens, and that's only probably going to happen more and more now yeah. with Kalecchio Assembly going elsewhere. But like I said, I think the Ravens are going to go with Eugene Monroe at left tackle. He's the best option currently on the roster. And I don't know that you're really going to upgrade at that position with a rookie number six pick. I don't think that you would improve at left tackle if Eugene Monroe is on the field. So, And I know the Ravens want to get an impact, instant instant coffee player yes. at number six. So to me, that, that tells me that they want to get somebody on defense that fills more of a hole instead of creating a hole by letting go of Eugene Monroe and then filling it with a draft pick. So no, I, I, my gut tells me that it's not going to be Ronnie Stanley, the second best offensive tackle in this year's draft at number six. And I think there could be a few big time defensive players available yes. at number six that the Ravens could nab. So yeah. more draft talk here. The next question from Holland Opus 79. Great name. Love that movie. Who is a better fit for the Ravens? Joey Bosa or Noah Spence? Well, I think Joey Bosa would be, and I think that he's really the only guy of those two that would be worth a number six overall pick. He's somebody that does more than just rush the passer. Noah Spence, he's a one trick pony. Now it's a good trick. It's a really good trick. But what he does is get after quarterbacks and speed rush around the end. Joey Bosa, he can play the run. He can play the pass. He can kind of fill in the role that Courtney Upshaw played last year if he were to leave in free agency, Courtney. Right. Uh, and Joey Bosa also can get after the passer. He can do both of those things. So I think at number six, if you're picking there, he would make more sense than Noah Spence. You know the Ravens like to stop the run. That's kind of a big part of their defense. Yeah, that's maybe first and foremost. Yeah, yeah. Our last question comes from Larry the Realtor, and he asks, with Marquise Colston, Anquan Bolden, and Andre Johnson, all possibly becoming free agents, which one or what other free agent wide receiver do you think best fits the Ravens? None of those three guys fit the Ravens. The Ravens do not want an aging veteran in this wide receiver core. They want to get younger and faster, and I think they're going to address that via the draft. Now, that said, I think they, at some point they could add somebody via free agency, but I don't know who that is because I think it's going to happen during training camp, and that player is probably on a roster right now. During training camp, somebody always gets released, and that gives the, the Ravens a chance to evaluate what they have, you know, who they get in the draft, how healthy is Steve Smith coming off the Achilles injury, how does Rashad Perryman look. It gives them a chance to evaluate all those things, and then if they still have a need at wide receiver, then they can sign somebody that somebody else has cut. All right, so that does it this week on Ravens Mailbag, but it's going to be a busy week with lots of news, so make sure you're following us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and also make sure you have that Ravens app downloaded to stay on top of all your news.